Welcome to another Sheffrin Pro tutorial. In this tutorial, we'll have a look at your Windows settings prior to the installation of your Sheffrin Pro software. To do so, move your cursor over the time at the bottom right hand corner of your screen, right click and left click on Adjust Time and Date. On this window here, you'll scroll down and select Additional Date, Time and Regional Settings. Once this window appears in the control panel, select the option that says change date, time or number formats. On the region window, you need to make sure that the format is set to English South Africa and the location is set to South Africa as well. Then you're going to click on additional settings. Under numbers, you're going to need to make sure that you have a full stop selected for the decimal symbol. On the date, you need to make sure that your short date is day, month, year. If you have any other date format in this window, simply remove it and type it in. You also need to make sure that the first day of the week is selected to Sunday. Apply these settings. You can click on apply here as well. And you can close down the rest of the windows. The next thing you need to do is you need to make sure that your UAC, the user account control settings in Windows, is disabled. To do so, you need to right click on the Windows logo at the bottom left hand corner of your screen. Select the control panel option. Then on the control panel window at the top right here, you need to make sure that it says small icons out of the list. Then you're going to go to user accounts, change user account control settings. And this bar here, you need to make sure you pull it all the way down to the bottom by left clicking and holding the left click mouse button in and dragging it all the way to the bottom. Click on OK, and the setting has now been applied. In order for the setting to take effect, you will need to restart your computer. The other option that needs to be disabled is your antivirus. The antivirus only needs to be disabled for the duration of the installation process. Unfortunately, due to the number of different antivirus applications available, you will unfortunately need to figure out how to disable the antivirus yourself. You can do that one of two ways. You can either Google your antivirus name or you can contact the manufacturer of your antivirus application. Thanks for watching. Till the next one.